The Apple Watch has really started to annoy me. The battery life is still nowhere near the competition, it only works with Apple devices, and the fitness tracking experience is pretty subpar. And with all that said, it still has a very high price tag. So I did a little bit of research and I found the Withing Scan Watch, which yes, I agree is a pretty strange name, but what really caught my eye was the fact that it was pretty stylish and most of the products and features were clinically tested and validated. I thought it'd be interesting to test it out and share my thoughts with you guys. Now, when I first unboxed the Withing Scan Watch, I was immediately taken back by the design and the physical feel of this device. I think I genuinely forgot the feeling of a classic watch. And that's what I think makes this device so special. You get the look and feel of a traditional watch, but then you still get the power and the features of a high-tech wearable. The scan watch comes in a 38 and 42 millimeter model with a circular stainless steel frame and an analog dial on the right side. It's water resistant up to 50 meters and underneath the top glass are two displays which include a bottom dial that shows the progress towards your daily activity goal as a percentage and the main top dial is a PM OLED display where you can cycle through the different menu options. Then when you flip the watch over you could see where you could change the bands with any standard 18 or 20 millimeter band and then smack in the center are the sensors that are the main drivers of this entire device, including a heart rate and SpO2 sensor, along with a three axis accelerometer. Now, honestly, the best feature about this smartwatch is actually the battery life. On Withings website, it says the battery can go up to around 30 days, which is pretty insane. But in my test, I was able to get around half that with all the features turned on, which is still far and beyond your standard fitness tracker or smartwatch. In fact, I was able to go on two trips that were a week long each without even needing to touch the charger. The device is definitely powerful and the things that it tracks is kind of crazy. First off, by scrolling through the main menu, you get access to your standard basic health metrics, such as your heart rate, the number of steps you've taken throughout the day, the flights of stairs that you've climbed. But what's really cool is the scan watch was actually FDA cleared for its SpO2 and ECG measuring capabilities. You could simply activate the ECG by finding ECG in the main menu and then covering the outer ring with your fingers to see if you have any irregularities in your heart rhythm. And then you can also do a similar action to activate the SpO2 tracking, which helps give you a reading on the amount or percent of oxygen that you have in your blood. You can of course manually track different workouts such as running, cycling, swimming, but it also has a feature that auto detects the type of physical activity that you're doing. And lastly, you can activate a breathing session, which is similar to Apple Watch's breathing and reflect feature where you can use it almost like a meditation device. Again, those are just the surface level metrics that you could see on the main menu of the watch. The real magic happens when you pair the watch with the Withings HealthMate app, where you get to unlock the full experience of what Withings has to offer as the app shows you a ton more of what the scan watch can also track. For example, it gives you a nice breakdown of your sleep performance. It gives you an overall sleep score that can help you break down how long you slept, your quality of sleep that you have. You're also provided a dashboard that breaks down the individual areas of your health, such as your activity, body measurements, heart health, and nutrition if you connect it with MyFitnessPal. You could see weekly and monthly trends to show you the individual areas where you could potentially improve. And they also have a neat feature called Health Insights where the app will highlight a particular set of data relevant to your health and give you advice and science-based interpretations of what your health data mean. And that to me is game changing. We're now moving out of this whole phase of just giving numbers and data and just being overwhelmed with all those metrics. And now we're getting a deeper level of understanding of what these numbers actually mean and what areas I can improve. And it shows me something that's actually valuable valuable of what I can start doing to make a change versus just Great, these are the number of steps that I've taken. And did I forget to mention there's no cost to access your health data, which is very different than the Whoop and Aura Ring that I definitely complained about in a recent video. All you have to pay for is the watch itself, which can range anywhere between $230 to $300, which is way cheaper than Apple Watch Series 7, 8, and you get way more features than the Apple Watch SE. Now I'll admit it was still pretty hard to step away from the Apple Watch ecosystem because the scan watch, there were aspects of it that just didn't cut it for me. For example, I really love the design of the smartwatch, but I was just a little bit nervous about the durability. Again, it reminds me of a traditional watch, so I'm nervous that it'll get pretty banged up, and I just wouldn't wear a traditional watch to the gym. Second, in terms of the fact that it it just didn't have more of those smartwatch type features. Yes, you get notifications for hundreds of different apps, but the PM OLED display is just too small to see any of those type of notifications. You can't answer phone calls. You can't change different songs or music or anything like that. And when it comes to the app, that whole eternal timeline display, just a little too much. I think I would have preferred a more condensed look at all my health metrics. However, I personally love this device and was really impressed with it. Now, would I dump my Apple Watch for it? 
I wouldn't go that far. The Apple ecosystem still has my heart, but I do think it was a great hybrid smartwatch. You get the best of both worlds. You get a traditional watch on your wrist, but still getting state-of-the-art health and fitness tracking. If you're somebody who's looking for something that's maybe a step higher than the Fitbit, then I think the Withing Scan Watch is what you should consider, especially because it has an amazing app that really gives you deeper insights about your health data. If you're interested in other fitness trackers, check this playlist out right here. As always, stay healthy, be happy, and embrace the hype. Woo! Oh, oh, oh.